What's going on guys back with another video today I'm gonna to be doing a uh, just a short little video and uh, introduction on my new daily driver it's a 2022 Corolla hatchback XSE with the six-speed manual transmission so uh, let's get into it all right so here it is the 2022 Corolla hatchback XSE uh, as you can see um, we'll start with the exterior here some of the options that I was able to get with this car, um, I had to wait for this car to, to be shipped in. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't available quite yet. I wasn't at the dealership. I had to uh, wait about a month and a half or so for it to be uh, brought in to the U.S. Um, if I'm not mistaken, all the hatchbacks, and actually we could probably check from this door tag here, they are all from Japan and made in japan so yes uh all, all the uh the hatchbacks as far as i understand are all imported in from japan so there's if it's not in stock you're going to have to wait for it so this particular car um after doing a little bit of shopping around i found this one was the best fit for me uh like i said it took about a month and a half to get it and it was optioned just like this um, if you're lucky, you can actually go on and, and build one, but I don't know how, how much luck you're going to have with, with doing that. But anywho, this one came very well uh, optioned out. Um, as you can see, I've got the black roof package. Um, I think it's like a, I don't know, $500, $550 add-on or something like that. Um, the, the rear spoiler, I think that was like a $375 option. Um, which I really like that. that. That you know gives a little bit more of an aerodynamic look, adds a little bit more style to it. Um, when you get the black roof, it also has the black uh, mirrors. You get the black mirrors with it. Um, of course, it's an XSE, so it comes with the 18-inch upgraded wheels, 225, 40, 18 tires. The Yokohamas, pretty good grip. Good for you know a nice little daily. Um, what else? Oh, yes, yeah, got the protective paint package that was included in the car. As you can see, it's got the uh, plastic protective uh, bumper cover there. Um, there is protective film on all the door cups. All the door cups have a little protective film inside there, which is nice. Uh, the front bumper and hood, I'd say about maybe a third, not quite half of the hood is wrapped in the protective film and then the bumper uh, which was a nice little option you know to kind of minimize the damage uh, done to the paint uh, what else I think that's pretty much it for the exterior of the car oh I had the it came with the optional uh, security locks for the wheels no big deal I think that's like a $60 option or something like that I think the protective paint was somewhere around 500 565 or something like that uh, that's on the on the website if you want to go on there and, and check it out you can you can basically and which I, is what I did I went on there and built my own what I wanted to you know optioned on it and then to give me a you know an idea of how much it was going to cost um, out the door so which was, was good you know um, I, I pretty much got this car exactly how I wanted it optioned so it worked out real nice um, moving on to the interior, of course we got all the nice soft touch uh, areas on the door panels, the dashboard, all nice soft touch. Got the leather interior, heated seats, uh, six-speed manual of course, um, had to have that. And uh, yeah, got the nice little infotainment. I got my phone hooked up to the Android Auto, which is nice. I can access all my, my music and my navigation and what not through that uh, another little option that was included in this they're a little bit dirty right now I actually need to detail the interior but um, yeah it comes with the nice uh, form-fitted uh, floor liners um, that was an option that was included in the in the uh, price of the car and you can add you know add on uh, you know yourself if you like I recommend it it keeps the interior a little bit cleaner um, Yep, back seat here, just a little preview of the back. Not too bad, nice, you know, it's pretty spacious, I, th I think, you know I mean, for a hatchback anyways. My boys uh, sit back there no problem. If I got my wife, who's 5'1", 
sitting in the front. I, uh, I'm 6'2". I've got no problem fitting behind her uh, in the back seat. So, you know, it's got a, it's got enough room. I mean, it's it's my commuter car, so it's not it's not the family car. It's 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 meant for going back and forth to work. Um, right now, let's turn this thing on. I'm actually uh, with my uh, style of driving. I am. Let's see if this thing will pop up here. I'm averaging about 32.7 miles per gallon on this, um, which I don't think is too bad. Um, I'm a little bit more of an, uh, I wouldn't say aggressive driver, but um, I don't, I'm not shifting at 3,000 RPMs. I'll put it that way. There we go. 32.7 miles on average. All right. So, and I do a lot of highway driving, but, um, you know, I'm doing about 70, 80 miles an hour on the highway. So, I'm not going to probably get the, the most uh, miles per gallon out of this. I think it's rated at like 38, but um, I think 32.7 for my style of driving, you know what I mean? I, I, I kind of get up in the RPMs when I shift. I'm not shifting at 3,000, 3,500 RPMs. And um, yeah, and I'm doing, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour on the highway most of the, most of the way. So I think if you were real conservative and, you know, you were shifting real low in the RPM range, and uh, doing about 60, 65 miles an hour on the highway, you know, consistently, I think uh, 38 is probably achievable. So, not too bad, you know, good little, a little commuter car, you know, I like it. Um, of course, you got the, the trunk cargo space back here. Now, this car came with the um, spare tire. You can get an, I guess there's an option to get it with the inflation kit or whatever. So. If you get the inflation kit, it gives you a little bit more trunk space. The uh, the floor is actually sunk down a little bit more, but because the spare tires back here kind of elevates things up a little bit, um, which is not a big deal. I don't you know I don't plan on toting a lot of things back here anyways. And of course I've got the I don't know what is it 60 40 or 70 30 split rear seat, so I can always fold that down if I want. You know to slide some larger objects in there. Uh, what was the other thing? Another option. I think this it comes with like this little first aid kit and uh, a cargo net, which uh, as you can see I haven't even opened yet. But um, yeah, those were a little, couple little add-ons that came with it. Um, but yeah, so it's it's pretty cut and dry. Um, I've got just under 2,000 miles on this car now, and and I got no complaints. The car handles really well. I'm actually coming from a 2006 Corolla LE with an uh, automatic transmission. So this thing's got a little bit more power. Of course, it's got the manual, so you know, it makes it a little bit more fun to drive. It's got the multi-link rear suspension, which you know helps a lot um, in the corners. But yeah, overall, a really nice car. Uh, definitely recommend it. And Uh, to get started on doing a couple of little a little uh, add-ons here if you will um, the first thing well actually the first thing in, is going to be getting the windows tinted um, it's got some large glass in here it's pretty hot in the summertime so if I can minimize the amount of heat that enters the car I'm going to do that so first up is going to be getting the windows tinted I'll have a quick little video on that in a couple of weeks, few weeks when I get that done. Uh, I got I already had an appointment set up. And um, yeah, the other big thing that I'm gonna be doing, actually the real big thing for me anyways, is is getting rid of the uh, dual exhaust or fake dual exhaust tip. Um, I'm gonna call it the dual exhaust delete, uh, fake tip delete. So yeah, we're gonna, get that taken care of so I got something in the works for that but that's gonna be probably at the end of June before I actually get the items that I need to make that happen so yeah stay tuned for that but uh, yeah overall um, yeah I'm very pleased with the car and I just wanted to do a quick little video and show you around and uh, yeah stay tuned because I got more coming for this baby so um, Thanks for watching and uh, like, subscribe if you would. Take care.